are back. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to Loose Lips. Yes. The jet lagged version of Loose yes. Lips. Yes. <laughs> With your hosts, Ika Belli and Tim Moss. Yay. <laughs> we are back in our home states and yes, of New Jersey and New York. We just came back. Well, a couple of weeks we did Providence, Rhode Island. No, we did Providence and Massachusetts. Um, yes. And we did Lube there. Yes, with Sam and Isaac and yes. Gabby and Caroline on our soundboards. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and then this last weekend, we were in uh, Boise. For th we had three nights in Boise, Idaho, and then a uh, uh, one night in Vegas, and yes. where we, and we worked that city. Oh my God, we were only there twenty four hours, but we went to cabaret clubs to try to get booked. Um, had dinner with my dear friend Brittany Andrews, and hey, then Brittany. we walked the strip. I mean, from Treasure Island down to where Paris, uh, and no, Bellagio down and the Venetian, and everything yeah. in between, everything in between. We worked one side and went to the other, and we did the gondola ride. Yeah, at the Venetian. Which was amazing. And then we got to the, um, well, we saw a portion of the volcano at Mirage. Mm -hmm. And then the water show, the oh, mountain show at Bellagio. Oh, my God. I was reading up on it. Millions of dollars it cost to, to create in 1997, I believe. Yeah, yeah. It's so, been doing it for a long time. Yep. Yeah. So it was a fabulous time. And, and we got to give a shout out to Jen Adams, Cora, oh, the incredible staff. In Boise. At, yes, at Boise, at the lounge at the end of the universe, sold out show. Incredible. And, and just incredible. And also Riley Burroughs, our drag queen. Oh, she my God. tore it up. Tore it we up. We just all, we just all, it just molded together, all of us. And it was Absolutely. just a perfect fit. And just like our show in Fifty Shades of Gay, this show is sponsored by Uber Lube. Oh, yes, we love Uber Lube. And the audience loved Uber Lube. So thank you to Uber Lube for, for sponsoring our show. And they yes. come in all different kinds of packages. Yes. Glass bottles, small, large, travel and size. And it's not just a lubricant. It's also adds sheen to your hair. Seriously, it does. Say what? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. So visit uberlube.com and pick up some of their great products. And we also got to hang out with a lot of the people from Uberlube when we did our Chicago shows last yes. month. That was yeah, so that, much fun. That was so cool to finally meet them in person after how many years, right? Yes. So we were in Rhode Island and then Boise, Idaho. And now next week, I am going to be going to Florida. I'm going to be back in Fort Lauderdale. I'm taking yes. my cabaret show to uh, the pub in Wilton Manors. And it's Saturday, August 13th at 7 p.m. But get there a little early because we're expecting a crowd. Oh, it's going to sell out, Tim. Yeah. I know it. Yeah, it should be good. It should be a good time. So I'm so happy for you. That's I'm very amazing. proud of this show. And I would love for yep. everybody down there to experience it with yeah. me. So yes. Come on out. So, so if everybody wants to ask Ike and Tim a question. Yeah, because they have just, advice. Because we've all got such good advice. We do. Mm -hmm. We're not going to push you <laughs> off a bridge. We're not going to make it drown. <laughs> but you you could send all your requests uh, through a DM on Facebook, uh, Loose Lips the Podcast. Mm -hmm. Or you can send an email to events at hotmail.com. And we will do our very best to answer those questions for you. Yes. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Loose Lips the Podcast. Yes. And I think it's time to introduce our guest. Tim. Well, I was just going to say, I love that shirt that you're wearing. Well, well, thank you. Let me explain, because our guests tonight are the founders <laughs> of K and K Clothing. Yay! Right? The line was started in 2020, and the business thrives on joining people from all mm -hmm. walks of life. Yes, and we are wearing two pieces from their collection. So please welcome to Loose Lips. Kelly and Kelsey of K and K Clothing. Hey! Oh God! Welcome to Loose Lips. <laughs> Woohoo! How are you guys doing? We're doing good. How are you guys? Uh, we are sweating our you know what off here in New Jersey and New York. Well, but I don't think anything like you guys. You're in Dallas, right? Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. And it is six today. Oh, oh my God! I don't know how you guys do it. Oh, Lord. And it's been like that for several weeks now. 
Yeah. Month. Wow. Yeah, we, we, we had that. In, we were in Boise last week and it was 106 and it was like, all right, enough. Mm-mm. It's disrespectful no. that he. I'm yeah. ready to move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how is Dallas? Tell us about Dallas. I've never been there. So sell me on Dallas. <laughs> that was, that was cool. I feel like there's a lot of I feel like there's a lot of new people coming from like different states, especially mm-hmm. like California. I've seen a lot of people from like California here and I don't know, it's it's growing even though it's already been like big, but mm-hmm. there's a lot of people coming to Dallas. Dallas is cool though. I feel like there's a lot of things to do there. Mm-hmm. It's now, cool. Now. Are you from Dallas or did you move to Dallas, Kelly? You too, or I'm from um I'm from New York. I moved to Dallas. Ah. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Was that yeah, a big I... change? Yeah, yeah, it was big. Uh, uh-huh. I, I came from the inner cities of uh, Bronx, New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it was a big it was a big change. You gotta where, you know. where at in the Bronx? I do a lot in the Bronx. Uh um Dumbo Avenue. Dumbo Avenue. I I don't even know where that's at. That that that's right off of White Plains. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, I know where you're at. <laughs> Very and, cool. And, yeah, and Kelsey, and Kelsey, where are you from? I am from Dallas. Okay. Yep. And you're, and you're ready to right. move. <laughs> yeah, I've I've lived in different states. I've lived in Atlanta a little bit. I've lived in um, Louisiana for a little bit, but. I'm from Dallas. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So what inspired you to open up your own clothing line? Kelly. <laughs> well, uh, we, I mean, it, it, it just grew. Like, uh, K and K, you know, it means both of us, Kelly and Kelsey, as well yeah. as K and K means um, to keep, keep beating, to never give up, and always to keep pushing. And it brings... Yeah. The K and K, as you see, it brings the brought, brought me and her together. Uh, a little back back story. Uh, we went to uh, we, we attended UNT together. We went to University of North Texas. That's okay. where that's what that, that's where we met. We met at a at a at a, at a party, and then <laughs> as we, yeah, we we met, and then, then after that, you know, I'm a trainer as well. So I started training, and I just I just started, you know, K and K Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and like it, it, it resonated, 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 and then and then that's how it started. As long as the, the thing about K and K is that as long as you have a heartbeat, right, you, right. you can keep going, keep beating, and, and and you don't have to do it alone. Like you you, you need somebody to fall on to, and I, I got my person right there. That whatever, <laughs> if I'm struggling, I have issues with. I always yeah. know that she's gonna be right next to me to, to pick me up. Yeah, and it's it's crazy too because he kind of like started the K and K Mondays, K Tuesdays, Wednesdays, you know, and then the rest of the week. And then one day we were just like, I think we were sitting on my bed, and um, he was like, you know, we should we should make like a logo. We should make like, <laughs> you know, start like some this and. I'm yeah. really like I love like creating stuff and I don't know, my mind just like started just thinking of stuff and then I don't know, I literally I think it took me probably what thirty minutes and then okay. we came up with the book. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I like I like the heartbeat, you know, it's very clever. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, yeah. and yeah. It's perfect with the initials. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. It and and the, and the thing I like too about your brand and uh, the diversity because one of your your mottos is it's okay to be different now, who, who came up with that it's kelly kelly yeah <laughs> I, I i love that line and the fact he, that you are diverse you know yes he, yeah he came up with the it's different it's something that he always kind of would say and then it just really res- resonated with the brand as well mm-hmm. and then yeah yeah, and then we were we were kind of thinking, you know, just like different things because we wanted just like also just different sayings, not just one thing, you know what I mean? Right. Because we are diverse, so then you know I was kind of thinking of things, and we were just like, well, okay, and then 
you know, we've got the heartbeat in there. So keep beating, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, that's where that came from too. Yeah. Yes, it's, and your your social media, so many different walks of life, taking pictures in your clothing line. It's really incredible. Yeah. 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 We love everybody. Yes, <laughs> that, that's important. Right. Even if it's 106 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> but this material is so soft. It, it feels is. so good. Who, who does who does the design? Do you do? No, she does. Oh, she, she does. does. She does. Yeah, yeah. So you do you decide what's going to go on them and what um, the, yeah. the style or the look of them? Yes. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I can be very indecisive sometimes and I'm a perfectionist. So I run everything by Kelly. I'm like, what do you think mm -hmm. about this? Playing with different things and like, uh, you know, putting different things together. And he likes everything. So he's like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. We, uh, we ultimately we decide like at the you know at the end. But I'm I'm the one that's like thinking of all the different like designs and things that we can you know um, come up with. And that's great. And then I, I obviously love the tank top on Tim. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm huge. I I don't know. I just love everything like black black clothing black. I'm very dark, and this to me just it fits perfect. I love it. Oh, it looks really okay. good. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm totally with dark clothes. I, I I love it. And then, so if yeah. this you started in 2020, right? Mm -hmm. So that I, was probably yeah, the height of the. 2020. I know it was. It was like I know it was like the winter time. So I think it. <laughs> it was. Think, yeah, it was 2020. Yeah, December or January. yeah, so it was winter was after the pandemic. Yeah, so during the pandemic was when fully, yeah, fully like during wow. the pandemic. Yeah, it's so yeah, it's so crazy because we literally were like we had just kind of everything out of like you know my small apartment and like um we just like going you know we we figured everything out on our own like it we mm -hmm. we didn't have like any outside help and i think that's also what makes it too because we literally did like everything together like we learned literally how to create a whole website mm. and like we've done everything together so mm -hmm. i think that's what's special too yeah right because you know it's the both of yours together it's like um when it's mutual it works out great <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah the two we... you two seem like a very good collaborators uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you work? You work good together. You work well together. Yeah, yeah, we definitely yeah. We do. She's yeah. I'm I'm more the outspoken one. She's more the shy one, but you know it's, it works. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely me out of my show, and I feel like I ground him a little bit because he can uh -huh. be a little. He's very like he's very he's a, he's he's very um. I think it's an extrovert. Yeah, he's he's an extrovert and he's really mm -hmm. out. He's very talkative. He's really good with people and you know, I'm not so much, but I'm very like creative and I'm very like um organized and it just works perfectly. So mm -hmm. Yeah, you bring out the best in each other. Uh-huh. Yeah, a hundred percent. And then so with the pandemic, so did did you find people were buying a lot because they started going back to the gym and everybody was starting to get back out in a little bit once that the winter of 2020 came up. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 People started, yeah, people started to buy uh buy more. Um, they wanted something a little different. They didn't want to look like everybody else, you know, in the gym mm -hmm. wearing Nike or Gym Short right. or Adidas. They wanted something, you know, a little different that's black owned. So yeah, it definitely picked up. Mm -hmm. And and that's amazing. Black owned, it's just incredible because you're successful at what you're doing. And your your brand now for me, what I love t-shirts. T-shirts are my thing. What would you say is your biggest product on your website? The biggest product, what you think? That's hard. Huh? What you think? The what? Uh, that's hard. What you what you think? <laughs> I would say the boxers are the Yeah. Boxers. He would say the boxers. Uh, the heck did I miss the boxer shorts? 
Yeah, I'll say that. You have to get a pair. Really? I, I don't know how I missed that. So you I so, so do you have them in all colors too then? No, we no, we just have them in black, black and blue. Yeah, black, black and, and like it's black, black like a black. royal like a royal midnight type blue. It's really pretty. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna check it out. Absolutely. Really good. So do you think that your the marketing um, is what kind of helped lift this off the ground, like with getting people to take pictures of themselves and share them. Yeah, def like yeah, definitely, def def yeah definitely. When when we when you have a product and people in love love it and they, they, they don't feel afraid or they don't feel self conscious of taking mm -hmm. pictures of it, 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 it shows that that brand is is worth looking at. So people mm -hmm. taking pictures of their people just buying wearing it. And, and, and showing it off on social media or showing it to a friend or co-worker, mm -hmm. it, it speaks volume of, of, of that brand. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I, I think like a, a key aspect, I always told Kelly from the beginning, it's like, I think what's really important is that we genuinely love it and like genuinely wear it every day and like obsessed with it because that's going to like sell it. You know what I mean? And that's going to make people want to, you know, uh wear our clothing and and you know like represent it you know what i mean right mm -hmm. so do you do like pop-up shops because i noticed like when yeah i was gonna say i saw oh, some of the, the pictures online and that's great yeah we um, we we've done so far it's um it was in dallas they 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 tour it's um a place uh a pop-up shop called um it's a marketplace. It's called Afro Soka Love Festival. Okay. So basically with that, it's a, everything, uh, like it's just a bunch of um, vendors that are um, black owned, everything black owned. Nice. So, yeah, it was, it was, and it's, it's, it's cool because we, I mean, not only just, you know, um, uh, black businesses there, but, and like, you know, black people there, but we see a lot of people there, you know, we see, mm -hmm all different um, ethnicities there. And it's it's really cool because it's it 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 shows that, you know, people are really like supporting us, you know, right. from- Yeah, Very, it's you know. really important, especially when it comes with business, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so you have, you have like the active wear, like gym wear. So now Kelly, you are a, a fitness instructor, is that right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a trainer. So is that kind of was that the inspiration behind it? Yeah, def yeah, definitely. Um, I'm a trainer, so I'm like, okay, I want people to, to look differently, right? I, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want I don't want people wearing like other brands like Nike and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I, I I can come up with my own, right? So, so people mm -hmm. can work out when we work when we're working now. I want I want to be different, like like it says K and K is different, right? I want to be mm -hmm. I want to be different. I, I don't want to be the same as everybody else. I want I want I just wanted to be different. Uh -huh. and that, that was one of the driving forces for um, for making uh, the the clothing line as well. Yeah. And this this to me, like uh, I just don't understand. Like when I go to the gym, and people are wearing like those satin like pants, and and just, they don't breathe, and they're just like, Bleh. like. But this, <laughs> it's like it's so comfortable. You know, it's like yeah, it's really soft, and you feel like when you're working out, you can move around more too in this. Mm -hmm. De definitely. Yeah. And it's also a cool thing too, you know, looking in the mirror and, you know, you see that and you see like the, the heartbeat and you're like, yeah, let me keep going. Yeah, you know? yeah, right. <laughs> so Kelsey, are you, are you a trainer as well? I'm not, no, I'm not a trainer, but, um, I, I mean, I love fitness. I am uh -huh. actually, um, studying to be a dietitian. Oh, okay. So I'm really into like health and fitness, and I mean, I, the main thing I can say is I did sports my whole life, and um, not in the gym as much as I should be, but I definitely think it's like the most important thing is to keep yourself like healthy and active, and mm -hmm. yeah, I like I support Kelly a thousand percent because I'm obsessed with you know how much he stays active and how much he you know encourages people to you know, for the best. So 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, I, I see your your page. It's it's really inspiring. Since I I haven't been to the gym, I'm traveling so much with Tim and and we're doing our shows. And no matter what I do, I'll go to the gym, I'll work out for like an hour and a half, and I'll come home and I still find the chips ahoy. <laughs> I don't know hey, what to do. I hey, hey, I don't blame you. That that's why I say I, uh, when I, when I'm working out, or whatever, I'll be like, he needs some milk or cookies or donuts. <laughs> I, I'm with you too, man. It's the too. devil in disguise. I'm telling you. But also, and a cool thing about it too, I think that's why you know it is so like um, diverse. Because even if you, you know, even if you don't like going to the gym and even if you don't like working out, it also um, it also means to you know whatever it is that's um, that you're working towards, whatever it is that you want in life keep pushing you know what i mean keep mm -hmm. eating, going keep moving forward you know you know it's it's not you know just about you know staying active and you know fitness mm -hmm. i feel like it can just relate to a lot of other things as well you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know when i'm having a bad day and i see you know because i wear this stuff every day but and i see myself in it and i'm just like oh, you know what i gotta keep going you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i have to keep i have to keep that it it's a I'm reminder yeah yeah oh. yeah i feel like it, it, you know if there's there's it's a bigger picture as well you know mm -hmm. yeah because i turned i just turned 61 a couple months ago and really yeah yes. you do and, not <laughs> <laughs> and and one thing i found is each decade your body seems to change and shift and i'm starting to find out that my body is not what it used to be let's put it that way and and so to to try to adapt to because i i just found out i've got um uh, i've had a herniated disc in the middle of my back which is not fun but i just found out i've got um osteoarthritis in the base of my back and at the top of my neck or at the bottom of my neck back here so as far as movement, I'm a little more limited now, but thank God for painkillers. But yeah. um, <laughs> but I usually do like walking. But now, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of afraid. So do you find that like your older clients or at, at the gym that you, you, I'm trying to adapt. I'm trying to find my groove again, cause it keeps, it keeps changing. Just when I think I got it under control, then bam. <laughs> For for, um, for 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 you, you want to go easy. Uh, I would suggest you um, biking, biking, mm -hmm. and swimming. Those two exercises, biking, uh -huh. and like well, my like, gym. like in the pool as well. Uh huh. Well, what I normally do is I walk. I live right by the George Washington Bridge, so I mm -hmm. walk over the bridge and back, and I rehearse because I'm a singer also. So okay. I'm the guy that's walking over the bridge, singing at the top of my lungs. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, yeah. you have to get, you gotta give us a little sample. Yes, <laughs> yes. I want to. Okay, um, let me think. Uh, it's up to you, New York, New. Yuck! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. We will send you a promo of our show. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too far behind Tim. I'm 56. I go to the gym when I can. Mm -hmm. But when I walk out of there, I feel like, God darn it, man. I'm not going to make it the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's what I'm what I'm saying is like as as I've been aging, I've found that I have to adapt my my or readjust my workout schedule or workout workout uh, routines. You know, yeah. so yeah, I got to do what we what I can as my body enables or uh, allows I, me to. Yeah, I think also a key thing. Um, you know where you are right now as much as you can do you know without hurting yourself and without mm -hmm. just going you know too hard like keep doing that because mm -hmm. um the more like you kind of just stop you'll just keep progressing is it progressing yeah mm -hmm. you'll keep yeah. regressing regressing mm -hmm. you'll keep you got it yeah 
yeah, you'll keep regressing if you keep, if you like, don't keep um, active right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Well, also during the pandemic, because I was just stuck at home for like a year and a half or two years, I put on, I think, 30 or 35 pounds. And I've got that off, but I've still, I'm kind of at that plateau now. And I, but I still want to get like maybe another 15, 20 pounds off. So it's just a matter of intake, limiting the intake, and I think increasing the, the movement and exercise. But if you have any well, tips on that, I'm open. Oh, for it. yeah, I have. A, I mean, he could definitely tell you like a lot of like exercises, though. So I'll let mm -hmm. him tell you um, like things you can do, like keep active and like to shred your uh, weight that way. But then also, um, like your um, your diet plays a huge role in that. So mm -hmm. I think the number one thing that you can do is try to cut out a lot of the sugar intake that you're. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Sugar is actually like the number one cause to um, like obesity and like any type mm -hmm. of, I mean, a lot of diseases, so. Mm -hmm. And I think also something that a lot of people don't realize is soda, even diet soda is yeah. not good for you. That is not good for you. No, but I will oh, say, lost Kelly. There he I is. will say <laughs> I have an addiction to like carbonated anything. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, I don't eat sugar, I try not to. So I am obsessed with like sparkling water. I know it's not the oh, best yeah. for you. Uh -huh. I know it's the best for you, but it's better than like, you know, soda with like loads of sugar and chemicals. Right. So try sparkling water and maybe adding like, I don't know, like a little bit of lime or like something that has like a little bit of flavor if you need like that flavor, but mm -hmm. definitely sparkling. Yeah, I find I don't cucumber know how and mint. I love cucumber and mint. Oh, yeah. In yeah. a mojito, of course, but that's got simple sugar in it. So that's another story. But <laughs> yeah. So, Kelly, how do you stay so healthy and strong? Uh, I mean, just you, you need to have like a um, because you need you need people around you that also you work out. You need, yeah. have, you need to have a support system involved, right? Because mm -hmm. when, when, when you have a partner or somebody that's working out with you, it's going to motivate you to keep going because... When you're working out, when you if you miss a day, a that day turns into two, two turns into a week, a week turns into a month, a month turns into two months before you even know, before you even know it, right? Yeah. So if you have a partner that that keeps you on your toes, like do you work out today? No, did you go tomorrow? Come on, let's go tomorrow together, mm -hmm. right? So you need, so you need that, you need, you need a, you need a motivator, right? To yeah. keep you going. And that's one when you, when you're working out. For for instance, for you, definitely, I would say you you want to start easy and slow. So you, for me, beginners, I would treadmill but in the treadmill you want you to put the incline already high so you mm -hmm. want the incline to go all the way up okay. all right and then you want to be the speed of around two the speed to be around two so you want to do that for at least 15 to 20 minutes to get you going and after that you get on the bike for 20 minutes and then everything else you're going to do um low weight and high reps so everything if you're doing 10 pounds uh uh dumbbells you're doing 20 20 reps uh okay all right, so every so everything is gonna be, it's gonna be low, low weight and high reps. That's, okay. that's actually what I do. I do the low weight and the high, and high reps. Rep. Definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Because God forbid I get past fifteen pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask. Where are you guys from? New oh, Jersey. New York City. New York City, New Jersey. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. But we're, we're we're traveling a lot. We're trying to get over. We're probably trying to get to Austin, Texas to do our show. Oh, yeah. Austin. yeah but I think I'm open for Dallas, too. I'd love to do Dallas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so tell us, what you have anything planned for fall and winter with your clothing line? Yes, we do. We are... We're coming out with um, uh, sweatpants and more i guess um like better quality sweatpants um okay. bottoms and also like the jogger types mm -hmm. and then also um like uh, crop jackets oh nice oh, i'm obsessed i have crop, <laughs> crop is in again believe it or not they're nice yes crop, <laughs> uh like crop jackets and as well uh what else 
that's I think that's all I can say right now because we're still in the works of like some other things. Yeah, but right. Oh, definitely. Um, like crop jackets, um, and then um, unisex um, uh, sweatpants and sweat okay. sweat bottoms. Sweet. Very cool. I'm going to definitely check out the boxers. I'm going to no. go back online. Oh, and look. Yeah, same here. Now, um, uh, like your manufacturing, you come up with a design, but how do you, you have a manufacturer, somebody that actually creates them or makes them? Yes. Uh -huh. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, it's, um, I mean, I love love the designing part because that's so creative and coming up with new ideas and stuff. But Yeah, but we, I mean, we have a lot of say so in like actually like the um, the make of the material, like what, what the material is going to be like, you know, made out of like, you know, the 70% spandex, right. 30% uh, cotton or whatever. Like we have nice. say so in that and then like also just... Um, how everything is like designed. So it's, you know, I mean, without us physically like stitching it together, uh, mm -hmm. but we have to, like say so in the designs um, of that as well. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you find yourself getting overwhelmed with a lot of orders coming in and trying to fulfill them? And Oh, yeah. yeah. I think, like, thank God I'm like, an organized person because I don't think I would be able to like handle it. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I mean it, it 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 got a little especially in the beginning it got a little overwhelming. But you know, we the our number one thing is um you know not letting the customers down. I hate I mean I don't know about you guys. I just mm -hmm. I hate that feeling of yeah. um, right like you know people thinking that you're trying to scam them or I don't know, you know, with like mm -hmm. A small business will just kind of think the word sometimes, right. and like that's not us at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, the like the shipping as well, right? I think something that's very unique about it is that, um, everything is free shipping. Yeah. Oh, sweet, yeah, um, everything shipping always. Um, and then you know, we try our best to get um the things to the customers as soon as we can because i mean i hate that feeling of ordering something i know everybody does it we order something and then we check in a few hours and we're like did it get shipped yet yeah, yeah. <laughs> amazon hello yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But, I do love, I, but i mean i i think that's like a big priority of ours is getting it to people because i know mm -hmm. I, we get eager, we get eager like the things that yeah. I, I ordered, like I get eager and I'm like, oh, I just want it now. So no. we do our best to get to people as soon as we can. But I definitely mm -hmm. also love that everything is, um, and it was, you know, it's our decision to have everything uh, free shipping mm -hmm. because, you know, I, 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 I hate going to the websites and seeing things. Well, Thank that's you. a great move because, mm -hmm. you know, when other people are charging an arm and a leg for shipping and here you are, your, your prices are reasonable. Now, just for me going on knkclothing.com, when I ordered the the shirts, it they came less than a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was quick. Yeah. yeah. And then also just like, I, I just love, you see what, like what is what you pay. Like you, you, right. you see a shirt is $30, that's what you're paying. Like shipping is included. Cause I know right. I'm um, going onto a website, you know, ordering something and I see, okay, $40. Okay. In my head, I've budgeted forty dollars. I'm good. Nope. Yeah. Get to the checkout and you got four dollars <laughs> from tax, shipping, and whatever. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It adds up. Absolutely. That's, but yeah. that's one thing that I find so refreshing is your your passion for your yeah. product and and your customer service. And that's that's so that's so nice and so refreshing. Yeah. That that yeah you know, that you're really enjoying what you're doing and you're really enjoying creating the product. I mean, and thank you for that. And also, like, you know, me and Kelly, me and Kelly have had these like discussions. It's like that's why because we love to do it. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, we, me and Kelly, we're the same in that we're not gonna do something we don't want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I'm for sure not. So. We love doing it, so I mean, I think that's why we continue, and that's why you know it is you know so successful to us. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Oh, 100%. Yeah. And, and the two of you seem to really, you work well together. You seem to be a very good team. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hold up, because Tim and I have some horror stories between the both of us. You have to have one horror story for the two of you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. And Kelly oh, he <laughs> dropped out. Oh, smart man. <laughs> okay. That's some, I need some like context. Like, what do you mean? Because everybody... well, something something you maybe disagreed on. <laughs> well, Tim and I or disagree on certain didn't things. work yeah. out the way you were hoping yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, um, mm. Stop thinking, Kelly. <laughs> you know, he's probably going to let me talk. Yeah. He say it. Smart. <laughs> he's got one. <laughs> I, I guess I would just say, without getting too much into detail, just probably like, um, he's adamant about something, but then I have to be a little bit more logical. Mm -hmm. But yeah. like it's logical to him, but I don't see it that way then and there. So yeah, I mean, just probably what yesterday we kind of like <laughs> <laughs> had a little bit of like, ah! yeah, <laughs> those <laughs> moments we all get them. That's part of it. Yep, that's yeah. part of the job. Yeah, but like. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess it's it's really cool about us because we, at the end of the day, there is so much love. So yeah. I think they, we're just like, you know what? It's not even like it's not even worth being like upset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And then you kind of just like you come to like you know a middle ground. And you're just like, you know what? Okay, let's work with this. Your yeah. ideas, you know, let's work with that. And then you know how 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 I'm thinking. Let's just like let's just. <laughs> find a way to work it mm -hmm. out yeah yeah well that's that's love and respect right exactly yeah yeah and that's very important now tell everybody tell all the viewers how they can find out more about k and k <laughs> well we are on instagram you can follow us at k and k official no, no, K and K clothing dot com underscore. So all lowercase letters K N K and then clothing dot com underscore. That's Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then I believe Facebook is the same. And then obviously the website, K and K clothing dot com, all lowercase. Mm -hmm. And then we're not on Twitter yet. And, um, At um, Afro Soul Festival, sometimes we do that, and then all their mm -hmm. kind of uh, pop up shops that we might do, but we always post that like on the Instagram. So mm -hmm. whatever you know, marketplace or pop up that it is, we always kind of announce it on Instagram first. So yeah, well, we'll be sure to put the website up, um, and it's going to be airing on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Pandora. Uh, and then the following Wednesday, we're going to have a, the video on YouTube. But before mm -hmm. you go, we thought we would play a little game if you guys are up well, for it. I just, let's I go, just, let's go, let's go. I just have a quick question. Is Kelly yeah. always this quiet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at his Instagram. He's not. He's, you know what? He's very interesting. I think, I don't know. Because sometimes, like, I, I be talking to Storm and he just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, uh, so he likes to. I think he likes to really like uh, think before he says says things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, that's okay. We're we're all good. But it's absolutely, okay. I, I, I'm okay with talking. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, so this, this is this is a game we have that Tim and I try to compete against each other, and I want to flip a coin, but I don't have one. So I'm under Kelly right here so i'll take kelly and tim and you can I'll have take kelsey. kelsey okay okay I got so you. yeah <laughs> so tim you explain how the game is played okay um 
Ike will give us two words. Like he'll say hot or cold. And you you're going to you're you're going to answer what is your favorite or what would you would prefer, but okay. you don't say it yet. And then we'll write it down. OK, so this is a test run. So hot or cold. Don't say anything yet. And I can I'm only try to guess what you're going to say. So oh. Kelsey, you're going to say. OK, are you no. ready, Ike? Now, I'm very competitive, Kelly, so you you got to give me all the right answers. Oh, right? bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What would you say, hot or cold, Kelly? Do I respond now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cold. What part didn't you understand? <laughs> he had hot. Okay. Oh. Kelsey, what do you think? Are you hot, hot or cold? Which do you prefer? Cold. Oh, no. it's but okay. I had hot, too. Okay, because really? you're in Dallas. <laughs> it's, it's not really my choice. Right, so, so this one we should probably get right. So this one would be beach vacation or ski vacation. Don't answer. <laughs> oh, God. If I get this one wrong. All right. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Kelly, what do you say? Beach. Sam, you said cold a minute ago. <laughs> yeah. Kelsey. Oh, this is not a game for me because I'm so decisive. It's not even funny. Mm -hmm. um, beach or ski? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, I, I I think I'd say beach. I had ski too. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, zero to zero. As long as I'm not losing, I'm good. That's hard. I can definitely have fun. Because I'm a beach person too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Beach? I mean, I have. I think I've only been to the beach like one time too. So. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I, I love Ocean Beach. I love the I beach. Love, yeah. I love like the snow, and I love. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! I'm a winter person, definitely. Yeah. Oh my god, 100. Mm -hmm. oh. I hate my <laughs> Not me. All right, so New York City or Los Angeles? Oh. I okay. think I got this one, Kelly. I got this one. Go ahead. You should. Uh, New York City. Bam. Okay. Kelsey? Definitely New York. Bam. <laughs> Whatever. All right. New York. Oh, it's in New York City. Right. Hagen Das or Ben and Jerry's? Oh. Okay, Kelly, go ahead. Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> you know, I'm going to remove you from Instagram when we're done with you. <laughs> Kelsey. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, dang, that's really hard. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll just say the first thing that, okay, Ben and Jerry. Okay, I had Hagen Dazs also. You're okay. a dietitian. I thought Hagen Dazs was better for you. I see. Okay, but I don't, like, that's thing. I'm also vegan, so I don't eat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I, last time I had that, so I'm like, is it better? But I think Hagen and Jerry's. Yeah, I agree. Know, but, and I don't know if it's like part of like the rules, but I think I'd switch to Hagen Dazs just because now I know that it, I think it is a little healthier. <laughs> oh my God, they're sorbet. <gasps> Like their lemon sorbet and or their raspberry. Oh my god! Strawberry. Ew. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's it's still one to one. This is the tiebreaker. Okay. And I'm gonna go a little to the left dark field. side and ask this one: <laughs> handcuffs or rope? Please let me win this one. <laughs> All right, you ready, Kelly? Handcuffs. Bam. Ah. 
Kelsey. Handcuffed. Bam. Woo! <laughs> Tied again. All right, one more. This has got to be the tiebreaker. If not, we'll just call it even. Cardio or weights? <laughs> Go ahead, Kelly. Wait. Can I rewrite it? <laughs> you just oh, talk about God. darn treadmills and cardio, damn it. <laughs> Kelly. Oh. He benches like what? 5,000? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, mm, cardio, cardio for sure. Ding, 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 Woo! ding, Yes. Damn. High 10. Tim won. Tim! Give me a high 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll get them next time, Kelly. <laughs> Definitely. We will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have two questions that came in. We have one from Joe Preston from New York City. It's one of our friends. Yeah, we love Joe. And, and he said, which superstar... Of any platform, do you dream wearing your clothing line? Mm, good question. I would say probably LeBron James or 50 Cent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would for sure say Mariah Carey. Yes. <sighs> she is, oh, I, I'm obsessed. She's everything. Mm. Uh -huh. See, I'm, I'm obsessed with Beyonce's new album. But I was just going to say that. Yes, with her new album, I Beyonce definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. So thanks, Joe, for that question. And then we have Billy from West Palm Beach, right? Oh, go see Tim. Yes, go see Billy. Tim and, uh, and Wilton Manners. Manners. Yes, come and see my cabaret show, Wilton Manners. Saturday, I don't know. If this, August yes, thirteenth at seven. Go out and see it. It's amazing. Pump. Yep. So this one looks like advice, I think. It says, I, this is from Billy. He said, I get mad when my wife wears my sweatpants, especially when I need them for the gym. How can I stop this? You got to hide them. Hide them. <laughs> yeah. Right there we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I think I would also say, like, get her just like, get her a bunch of like stuff that I mean I guess extra of like what you would wear because I mean we only we I feel like when we like to wear it because it's like so comfortable and it like smells like you so make it smell like you and then like obviously make it like your size and then uh, keep the ones that you want but like get her some extra ones that you know you're not uh, really like that's that interesting. you got any advice Tim I was just going to say pee on him <laughs> She's the way to mark the territory she is not going to want to wear them dead no uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we thank you both so much for being on yeah. the show we really are so happy for your clothing line okay. excited that I got to wear the shirt after for so many weeks I've been waiting to wear this yes, they're comfortable they're soft. Um, they're great for when you're working out. KNKClothing.com. Kelly, Kelsey, thank you so much to the both of you. Yeah. We appreciate you both. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even we though Tim won. Yes. <laughs> this is where we wave goodbye. Thank you.